Love them or hate them, squats are one of the most effective exercises. The squat is a dynamic strength training exercise that simultaneously works several muscles in the upper and lower body. Much of these muscles help you power through everyday tasks like climbing stairs, walking, bending, or carrying heavy stuff. Moreover, squats help reduce your risk of injury. And did you know that it's also a killer calorie-burning move? Suffice it to say, squats, be it jump squat, chair squat, or any other variations, offer plenty of benefits, especially when added to an existing workout routine. Stay tuned for more details. Number 1. Squats Make the Leg Muscles Stronger Many of you already know this, but allow us to repeat it for others. Squatting is key to creating a strong lower body. While machine exercises like leg extensions and curls target the quads and hamstrings, Squats simultaneously work nearly every lower body muscle. This then translates to real-world strength. Since squats don't require a machine, it allows you to build stability and spot potential imbalances between your left and right side. For instance, do your hips shift from side to side during the exercise? If so, then you're better off for single leg exercises. Enjoying the video so far? Show some support and hit that like button. Number 2. Squats Burn Tons of Calories Because the squat recruits many muscle groups at once, it stimulates the increase of anabolic hormone production. This is good because such hormones aid in burning fat and building muscle. In addition, the squat burns tons of calories as it requires heaps of energy to perform properly. As a strength training move, it's an essential part of an effective weight loss plan. After all, regular strength training is known to speed up metabolism as well as decrease body fat. Number 3. Squats Enhance Muscle Tone Squats work and strengthen your legs along with buttocks, abdomen, and other major areas of the body. Through adding squats into your workout routine, it can give your muscle tone a boost. Moreover, when done in different ways, squats can tone your legs, thighs, and calves. Strengthening and toning your lower body muscles lets you move more comfortably with less pain. Lastly, things like walking and bending will become easier. Besides primarily working your legs, squats also highly condition your core. Find out how here. Number 4. Squats Improve Core Strength The core is more than just the abdominal muscles. In reality, it's made up of the diaphragm, erector spinae, abdominals, as well as obliques, glutes, and pelvic floor. The core is vital for balance, posture, and daily life. A study showed that back squats are better for strengthening the muscles supporting the back than the more traditional bridge isometric exercises. Bodyweight workouts like squats also activate the core, while strengthening the lower back and abdominal muscles. Number 5. Squats Promote Mobility Mobility is beyond just the range of motion. It also determines how strong you are in certain ranges of motion. Repeatedly performing squats trains the joints to move through any planes of motion. What's more, the greater your mobility is, the better your body can protect itself from injuries. And while we're on the topic of injuries, let's cover more about it here. Number 6. Squats Reduce Injury Risk Whether it's jumping, running, or any other physical activity, there's always a risk of getting injured. Also, the majority of injuries when moving can also be linked to weaknesses and imbalances. If you perform squats regularly, it amplifies the muscles surrounding your knees and hips, hence reducing the chance of injury. Incorporating squats into your current routine improves your ability to jump. How so, you ask? Let's learn about it next. Number 7. Squats Increase Vertical Jump Having amazing hopes on the court isn't only partly thanks to genetics. Your ability to powerfully extend your hips is a key factor in boosting your vertical leap. Through squats, the lower extremities get stronger, thus boosting the ability to produce power. And the bonus part is that besides producing power, squats help absorb it. Absorbing impact equals fewer injuries as you come down from catching a rebound. Number 8. Squats Improve Posture One of the best ways to correct posture is to add squats into your workout routine. Squats scale down on the fats, revealing a sexier part of you. They tighten up muscles, strengthen the lower extremities, push the stomach in, straighten the shoulder, and shape up the leg. Your abdominal and spinal muscles are also exercised during squats, adding support in maintaining your upright back. 
Another major benefit of squats is their ability to improve your heart and overall cardiovascular health. Check out more about this. Number 9. Squats Boost Cardiovascular Health Executing squats compels the body to use oxygen efficiently. Likewise, it also gets the heart pumping and the lungs expanding. In turn, this helps organs like the lungs, heart, and circulatory system function optimally. Furthermore, squats help eliminate fat, thus reducing clogged arteries and lowering cholesterol levels. All those can prevent diseases like high blood pressure and other heart-related conditions, ultimately improving your overall cardiovascular health. Number 10. Squats are extremely convenient The beauty about squats is that they can be done anywhere and anytime depending on your suitability. Be it during mornings right after waking up, during short office breaks, or in the evening as you get back home, there are limitless options. This also gives you an easy and quick way to boost circulation and just freshen up after sitting for several hours. How to do a basic squat Also known as a body weight squat or an air squat, this most basic type of squat doesn't require any special equipment. It only uses your body weight for resistance. Squat variations can include weights like dumbbells and barbells, yoga balls, or resistance bands. For the basic squat, this is how you perform it correctly. To start, stand up straight with your feet shoulder width apart and your chest up. Now, bend at your knees and hips, sticking your butt out so you're sitting on air. Make sure to squat down until your thighs and the floor are parallel with each other. Also, keep your knees stacked over your ankles and behind your toes. Then, hold for a second while keeping your back straight, not rounded. Finally, dig into your heels and straighten your legs to return to the original upright standing position. Can you overdo squats? We know how great the benefits of squats are. But then again, even with squats and other exercises, too much of a good thing is bad. If you overdo it, you can pull, strain, or sprain any of the muscles, ligaments, and tendons involved in the exercise. Start with a standard squat, more so if you're a beginner. Then move on to the more difficult variations and slowly add reps, sets, and or weight. Make sure to listen closely to your body. If you feel like your muscles are revolting, then don't hesitate to stop. Let your body recover for a day or two before you try again. Variations of Squats Are you familiar with jump squats, or the box chair squat maybe? Find out more about them and some other squat variations you can use. Number 1. Jump Squat Jump squats are an explosive plyometric exercise that boosts speed and agility. To add intensity to your workout, then this is a must-try variation. That said, the jump squat is an advanced move, so for those who have ankle or knee issues, you may want to skip this one. Number 2. Box or Chair Squat in a nutshell, box squats are standard squats with your butt touching a box, chair, or any other similar seating tool of your choosing. This variation helps work on hip flexibility and strength at the bottom of the squat. You may adjust the difficulty of this move by changing the box height. Number 3. Goblet Squat The goblet squat activates the front muscles, which explains its great core activation. When done right, it works the upper body just as much as the lower body. This move has less stress on the spine, making it a good choice for anyone with back problems. Number 4. Sumo Squat Because the sumo squat requires a wider stance of the feet, it's excellent for activating the inner thighs and making them fired up. It poses a new challenge for the muscles because your foot position alters your support base. Number 5. Banded Squat Adding resistance bands to the squat will increase the difficulty from the very first cheek squeeze. Banded squats are a great way to prevent the knees from falling inward since the band forces you to actively press against it. Are you now convinced that squats must be incorporated into your workout routine? What squat variations have you done before? How is your experience doing them? Tell us your thoughts and answers below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. For more interesting facts on the human body, subscribe to the channel. Here are two more videos you should check out, both of them will definitely help you reach your goals.